What's up guys? Welcome back to Fancy Goldfish Fanatics. Today we're going to be shooting an episode all based on trans shipping. So make sure you stay tuned to find out more. Hey Fanatics family, welcome back. Remember to check out the description below the video, follow us on Instagram and check out the Facebook group. So today's video is gonna be all based on trans shipping. As my fish is arriving in around one week, we're gonna be setting up the quarantine tank very soon. And I thought it was appropriate to do a video all based on trans shipping and how my fish are actually imported into the country as I've had a few people ask me how to do it and there isn't that much information on it. Now, the website is so close to being launched as well. I'm so excited about that. I believe next video we will be announcing the launch of that. And that will be at fancygoldfishfanatics.co.uk. But bear with me, I am still sorting it out, but I hope we can launch it next episode. Now also I've had quite a lot of entries, quite a lot of submissions for the Rate My Tank series, which is really good. If you haven't entered and you would like to sh have your tank shown on the channel and have me go over it and look over it and give some little tips and tricks, what I think you could change, what I think is good about it, and how many stars I will give you out of five, then down below is fancygoldfishfanatics at gmail.com email and you can email me your submissions there. If you've got any problems or you can't work it out, then just drop a comment below um, and I will try to help you. So on to today's video, I want to speak about trans shipping more and open it up to more hobbyists just to see if maybe it's something for you. And I also want to highlight the costs the risks um, and just what's involved in it. So first of all, when you're buying your fish, you can buy your fish from a shop, you can buy your fish from a private seller, you can buy your fish online, and you can even sometimes buy them at goldfish shows. Now, if none of those suit you and you can't find that specific fish you're after, then maybe trans shipping is for you. So I just wanna do a quick disclaimer before I start the video. All the prices I give are a rough estimate and they can change constantly with the different shipping rates. Um, now we've obviously left the EU, prices have gone up and prices will vary. So I just wanna say that. Also, trans shipping is a very risky and can be quite a stressful process. So I would only recommend it to advanced level hobbyists or people that are willing to put the effort in and to really get involved and see how it goes. So I really just can't stress that enough. Trans shipping does have its pitfalls and does have its downsides, but I love trans shipping and it has got me all of my fish, a majority of my fish that I've got outside in the pond. So I just want to stress that that is a quick disclaimer. First up, the first thing you need to do is find a trans shipper. Now it depends on your country of residence, where you are in the world, but here I am in the UK and I found TH Goldfish, Miss Pimmy Williams who runs TH Goldfish and she is my trans shipper and she is the shipper that I chose. Now there are other trans shippers out there and you can pick and choose who you want to go with, that is completely up to you. So now, once you've found your trans shipper, you need to, obviously, you need to find a shipper that's got all the correct licenses and all runs all the correct regulations. So make sure we're not doing any illegal stuff, okay? So make sure you're doing everything above board and everything correctly. So now, once you've found your trans shipper, the next job is to find the fish you're after. Now, there will be lots of breeders lots of groomers and lots of dealers um, all around the world that will provide you with different styles of fish, different colors, different patterns and so on. And they will all be priced completely differently. The quality also differs as well, what kind of service you're aiming to get and the type of fish you're trying to get. 
So you can find a lot of these groomers and a lot of these sellers on Facebook and on the Facebook groups. You can find them on the Fancy Goldfish Fanatics Facebook group and other different groups. They will often post up fish that they have for sale. And you might take a fancy to a few of the different fish or different styles that those sellers provide. Now, once you've found a seller that you like or you like their style of fish, you need to make sure that your transshipper can import from that seller. Once they've let you know and you're all good to go, then you can message the seller and you can see what they've got on offer. Also, I can't stress this enough, don't waste these guys time. They deal with lots and lots of people every single day. So if you aren't 100% on buying a fish then please don't waste their time the majority of these sellers only do wholesale for this specific reason because they don't want to be dealing with the general public so please make sure you're you're definite and you're going in with a head where you're aiming to buy these fish. So now you can tell them what fish you're after and hopefully they will send you some videos and if you like the fish that they've shown you you can pick out a fish and negotiate on a price. Now they will tell you the price of the fish and if you're happy you can go ahead and purchase that. Generally you will discuss any terms and conditions like if there's any dead on arrival policy or little bits and pieces like that and then you will generally pay the seller and you will have paid for your fish. Now another disclaimer I am not endorsing paying people abroad paying random sellers um, in different countries so please do your due diligence that is up to you there are lots and lots of scammers especially on Facebook that will take your money and then block you so please be very very careful who you send money to and make sure you are sending it to a proper business um, and someone who's got a bit of credit with the trans shipper they know them well potentially and they know that they are a good seller now once you've done that you want to go back to your trans shipper and say look I've bought these fish or if you haven't bought them yet I'm planning to buy these fish and you need to find out how much that shipping fee is going to be wherever they're coming from maybe Thailand to the UK now a general rule of thumb this is very general around a five inch ranchu would probably cost around 80 pounds in shipping fees maybe a little bit less if it's a four inch fish and also maybe a little bit more the trans shipping fees generally run from i'd say around 70 pounds all the way up to around 110 pounds for the really large fish so this is another cost you need to add on so let's take for example you buy a fish for 10,000 baht which is the equivalent of 220 British pounds. That fish is a five inch ranchu. That trans shipping fee is then 80 pounds on top. So that one fish has cost you 300 pounds. Now, obviously economies of scale is very important in this world. And if you're buying lots of fish from a seller, they will likely give you a bit of discount and a bit of a bulk buy deal. And this also generally applies to the trans shipping. Now, if you buy a whole box of fish, you might be able to fit maybe 10 5 inch ranchu or maybe 10 or 20 three and a half inch ranchu in a box. Now, a box will normally cost around 450 pounds for the whole box to be shipped from Thailand to the UK. Now, as I said, these are just general prices. Now, if this box is costing 450 pounds and you've got 10 fish in the box, then obviously the costs are split and each fish has then cost you £45 each instead of the previous £80 or even £90. So you do get some economies of scale generally. So now let's say you've bought one ranch shoot for £220 from the seller, then you've paid your £80 to your trans shipper, the fish has then arrived in the UK and then you either collect it from your shipper or majority you will get that shipped from the seller to you. So there's another cost incurred via APC couriers, which are licensed live fish couriers, and that generally runs around 35 pounds. So now your one fish has cost you 335 pounds. Now you may have a really, really good quality fish that you can't get anywhere else in the UK. So you've got a really good deal and you've saved yourself a lot of money. However, if your fish then dies, 
then majority of the time it is up to you and you have to take that loss. So you've, you've got that fish to you that is really high quality, you've saved lots of money, but then you've lost the fish. Now this is what a lot of people forget. The retailers in our country, the sellers, the shops, they have taken all of that risk already. So you may be paying a little bit of a premium to buy your fish from your local shop or your retailer, but you're not having the hassle of the quarantine, of the shipping prices, of risk losing the fish. You are not taking any of that risk. So you need to weigh up whether it's worth trans shipping yourself or supporting your local shop and maybe paying a little bit more but having the peace of mind that your fish has gone through proper quarantine and is nice fit and healthy. So now one of the most important parts of trans shipping your fish has gone from Thailand to the UK from your UK trans shipper to you. Now generally the fish has been starved before shipping for three to seven days so it hasn't eaten in a long period also when it arrives at your trans shipper they will generally not feed the fish as well so that could be another two days obviously it's been in the bag for 24 hours it might be at your shipper for a day or a few days and then it has arrived to you so generally sometimes these fish can be gone a week and a half to two weeks without any food in their system. So they are very, very weak and that is one of the factors you have to consider when trans shipping. Now the fish may be very stressed out, it might have lots of parasites and that is why quarantine is very, very important. Now I've done a few videos, I think they were about four weeks ago on quarantine. I went to, in lots of depth, I did actually a back to basics with my five top tips. So go check out the Back to Basics playlist and check out that video. And before that, I even did a few videos when my fish came in and how I quarantined them. Now, you need to expect that your fish will come with parasites. They've been in ponds, large ponds with lots of fish in Thailand or Vietnam or China, and they will 99% of the time have parasites. So when you're quarantining, you need to be on top of those and it is your responsibility. If that fish dies, it is not up to your trans shipper. They have nothing to do with it. They are just providing a service for you and it is not up to the dealer unless you have agreed specific terms and conditions. Now I'm not gonna go over quarantine in this video because this video is long enough as it is. I will be doing another video all on quarantine a simple quarantine guide when my new fish arrived. I've already done a quarantine, but another quarantine video will only help further. So this video really wasn't to put anyone off trans shipping. I really just wanna highlight all these different risks and all these different problems you can face with trans shipping, just so it's transparent if you do try it yourself. Now, hopefully I've given a balanced argument if you want to import your fish yourself or if you want to choose your local shop and your local seller, because after all, we need these local shops. We need these local sellers because they are small businesses and they provide not only fish, but lots of other services for us. And they are very, very helpful and informative people. So there is the argument for trans shipping and the argument for buying already imported fish. So it is up to you what you choose to do. I hope that video has been very beneficial. Next video, we are having the goldfish fella on to do a tank tours episode. And I can't wait to do that. It's gonna be a really fun, exciting episode. So make sure you stay tuned to that one. Thank you all for watching. Remember to keep those water changes up and happy fish keeping.